Hi. Hope everyone's having a good day so far. Um, so I figured, you know what? We have one more episode to go in this uh, this playthrough of uh, the first Phoenix Wright. So I'm thinking we try to get through that first. Uh, because I'm really itched to play the next two uh, games. I will return to like the next two uh, Ace Attorneys in the series. But, uh, yeah. Anyways. Rise from the ashes. Okay, so two killings at the same time, looks like. It's been two months since my left the office. Two months without a single trial. I've had offers, but none I took. That is until the day that girl showed up. Hold on a second. Cock! How's it going, Sphix? Lost my streak? Streak of what? How's it going? How's it going? Oh, uh, it's not like I want to work. There you are, finally. Where have you been? As always, with my internet being shit, I don't know if stream will load. Let's hope so. Gaming, how's it going, General? My sister's trial is tomorrow. Um, who are you? It doesn't matter who I am. It only matters who you are. The famous defense attorney, Mia Fey. And I just fucking double clicked X again, or. Finally got the fucking jam good? Nice. What is it? Disable. Yeah, I wanted to apologize yesterday. It kind of ended prematurely. I only streamed for an hour yesterday just because with the rut I've been, I've been in, just kind of hit me hard when I was feeling lackluster. Hopefully, uh, with this today, maybe some chat limey tomorrow. We'll have to see how things go. But uh, I'm I'm looking forward to uh, to things working out. You know, well, at least I'm hoping so. Finally, finally got out of this rut. Maybe eat some good food. Uh, stream a load. Ah, oh, I guess you can't even hear me. But uh yeah, no, I I really apologize guys. Like, I wanna keep like providing entertainment for you guys. Casual entertainment, but I just I don't know why after Friday it just fucking it hit me like a truck for some reason. Maybe I'm just exhausted. Like from like 'cause I I've I've played West of Loathing and uh and Phoenix Wright, both of which were like talk heavy games. And I, like, I'm person not that used to that much talking. Friday is a truck, yeah, I know. But I'm not used to talking that much. I've, I've always been kind of like a in the background kind of person. So like talking is like uh, it's 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 still a bit exhausting. But like, I'm I've been enjoying this. I don't even do anything, and I felt more tired since Friday. Wait, what was it about it? Like I don't I don't know what the, what the hell happened. But anyways. Oh uh you're not Mia Fey, are you? 
I'm sorry, but Miss Mia no longer works here. So you are? The coffee boy? Ha! <laughs> I'm Phoenix Wright, a defense attorney. Right, right. Wait. You're the Phoenix Wright? The Phoenix Wright from the Edgeworth murder case? Um, yes, that's correct. It wasn't uh, Edgeworth who was murdered, though. That's a relief, then. You're better than nobody. Wow, thanks. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I'm not taking cases right now. But you're Phoenix Wright, right? Have you really done shit? I'm fucking exhausted. Yeah. I, I like. What, what was it? Like, did like the Earth shift like a, a couple thousand degrees or something? You have to defeat a defense attorney. Look, I'm not accepting new cases. I'm sorry, but you'll have to try elsewhere. Please, I'm out of time. But please, you have to help. It's it's my sister. Uh oh. Maya? Could it be? Okay. I'll hear you out. Really? Thank you so much. My name's Emma. Emma Sky. Emma? Emma? It loaded for a second. Ah, shit. There's hope, yeah! One whole second of final? Worst second of your fucking life. <laughs> Find your router. Eat it. Contract Wi-Fi. I'm a, sky I'm a scientific investigator. Scientific investigator? I <laughs> got the vaccine. I sent it to 6G Gumbo. You don't want to go too low now. Optic fiber citywide. Huh. Emma. Hmm. Emma, was it? So you're a scientific investigator. Yes, that's right. Is something wrong? I was just, no, you kind of seem a jumpy. Or maybe just young? Young? I'll be 16 years old this year. Oh, I see. Wait. Only 16? I'm set to, uh, set to be formally assigned to forensics at three more years. I always, I always enjoyed, like, and this is in terms of, like, facial structures. Uh... Just, just a little down slope, and then just like the the lip across with the little smile at the end. I, th I always enjoyed that. Wait, my streak survived? Hell yeah! And I got another set. Hell yeah! My tectonic plates, dishwasher safe. Why is that the entry you go with? Just general curiosity. My work is becoming quite well known at my age, no less. Um, so what exactly is your current position, then? Why not? I mean, it didn't have to do anything with the topic on hand, but I guess... Whatever, whatever both your float? Well, legally speaking, I guess you'd call me an 11th grader. But I'm ready to do my job, at my age, no less. Grade another future professional in training. So what's this about a case? You said the trial's tomorrow? My sister didn't do it. She wouldn't stab someone with a knife. She wouldn't. No, but she'd stab somebody with a fork. Oh, thank you for the hydrate. So we're gonna Twitch mysteri works in mysterious ways. The fucking Path to Affiliate thing still hasn't updated since last stream. It's really weird about that. Like, sometimes it's like, it updates like, li like, lickety split. But then other times it's just like... Yeah, you know what? Fuck you. Anyone who's... If I ever become partner or greater, I would like to fight for like non-affiliates and affiliates and whatnot. Like I know I know Twitch probably can't expend the resources, but they can at least improve things, you know. I just need 35 more followers. Ha! <laughs> Do you have the viewership for it? So it's a murder case. I don't care if there's a witness who saw her do it. She didn't do it. I know she didn't do it. It's a scientific fact. 
and there's a witness. Just talk to her. You have to talk to her. Right. I, I suppose it will. I think I just about average over three viewers. Let's hope so. A lot of a lot of affiliates struggle with that that three average. One one dip below that, and you're not getting shit. Two point nine nine, you're still not getting shit. I promised her I'd bring Mia Faye, but that's interesting. How would she know Mia? So you want to be a scientific investigator when you grow up, then? Hey, excuse me. I'm not a child. I'll have you know. Still, it's good to have a goal. I'll be at a very un unusual one. The investigation should be done scientifically. Don't you? I like her. She's spunky. Crab. Do I need to get like a crab emote or something? Uh, yeah, sure can't falter for lack of enthusiasm. In this case, it's handled scientifically. I'm sure my sister's name will be cleared. Your sister? I've been doing research, you know. I'm developing a new scientific method of case investigation. I'll show you when I'm done. I look forward to it. I guess you get to, to the detention center and talk to her sister. My sister asked for Mia specifically. This Mia Faye person was a few years below her in school. So they went to the same school then. What do we do about the moving ban? Do I refund that? Uh, yes. Oh yeah, is it, is it like more than just a single seconds fix that you're getting now? She always told me to go to Mia if I ever need a defense attorney. And well, I need one. Um, incidentally, Mia's a woman. Now that you mention it, I guess it is more of a woman's name than a man's. <coughs> My internet is struggling, but I can get some seconds. Nice. Well, it's nice of you to help your sister out like this. You must be close. Uh-oh. Well, actually, when she gets like, like she is now, I kind of hate her. Ah? But she's my only family. Your only family? What about your parents? They died in a car accident when I was little. She says with a big smile on her face. I've considered giving you a free kazoo, but fi final would demote me if I f if he found out. <laughs> yeah! Okay. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Hmm. I wonder what's wrong with Emma. She got quiet all of a sudden as soon as we arrived. God, I thought I thought I told you I didn't want visitors. S sorry, ma'am. It's just your sister. No excuses. Or did you not want to raise this here, hmm? Uh, understood, man. What was that all about? Uh, hi, Lana. Funny. I seem to remember specifically telling you not to come here. Perhaps my memory is failing? Anyways, how is it doing? I have a little bit more energy than I have had uh, fixed. Thanks for asking. I, I hope it just continues a little bit. Look, I didn't want to come here either, okay? But your tom trial's tomorrow and you still don't have a defense attorney. I'll be the one at court tomorrow. This has nothing to do with you, Emma. Isn't that right, Mr. Wright? Hey, how do you know me? Mia mentioned you. I've heard quite a bit. Uh, I'm sorry. What, it ex what it exactly is it that you do? My, Lana my name is Lana. Lana Sky. I'm chief prosecutor for this district. Your prosecutor. Two sisters, one a lawyer, and could this be a coincidence? Emma, Lana, I mean they're just like... Something wrong, Mr. Wright. Something tells me that military woman has killed at least one person at a time. I don't 
think it's military. I think it's just legality. Like, I don't know. <laughs> They're the same person. <laughs> There's something you should know from the start, which is the suspect in this case has confessed to the crime. Huh? Wait, but the suspect, the suspect is me. I did it. Well, Mr. Wright? Well, why don't you begin telling me what exactly happened? Hey, Abby, how's it going? The crime took place yesterday, February 21st, at 5.15 p.m. That's quite specific. That was the witness's disposition. No, deposition. The witness clearly saw me committing the crime. Uh, my, that was quite a bit, that was a bit of bad luck, wasn't it? The crime took place in the underground parking lot at the prosecutor's office. The body was found in the trunk of my subordinate's car. Prosecutor's office, huh? Your subordinate's car trunk? Classy. I thought Lana died. <laughs> also loaded for now? Hell yeah. Uh, so now that fix is loaded up, uh, this is where stream ends. Okay, thanks, bye. I really gotta stop making that joke. It gets less funny every time I do it. But I still enjoy doing it. I'm doing good. What about you? I'm doing alright. Having a bit more energy than I have been, but at least it's... it's <laughs> well, at, least, at least it's better than not. I've just been... Final I will stop you while you sleep. <laughs> I, I've... I think one of the other things that's been draining me is that I go to sleep feeling lonely and I wake up feeling like shit. There's no... I don't, know. I don't know how to explain it. Like, I live with somebody, and I'm on, I'm on, I'm on good terms with it. It's my own mother. But it's just like... All, all my friends are either a, ha a half hour away each direction. I haven't talked with any of my friends since, uh, from high school. All of my friends are online. All of my, like, more, more commonly talked to friends are online. So just kind of being stuck in the middle of, well, I'd say, but fuck nowhere. Just, you know, takes its toll. But it, it's, it's all right, it's all right. And that's, and that's, that's why I hated moving away from my old city. With all this lots of job and COVID shit. I've, I've not been able to um, I've not been able to visit them and I've, I've not had the finances to go and visit them. I have my own vehicle, mind you. Would I like to, would I like to go stateside and like actually visit some of the friends I've, I've met online? Hell yeah. I'd love to. I'd love to meet Abby. I'd love to meet Turnip Schematics. Uh, Spug, uh, Avery. I'd love to meet all of them. I... I don't know. I also miss two days of school because I'm a human disaster. You're not a human disaster, but you should really figure out, like, why why you miss school. Anyways, I was arrested on the spot, caught red-handed as it were. Oh, that was just great. So who was the victim? An investigator with the police department. I suppose the correct term is detective. A detective? Oh, please don't... No, please don't tell me they killed Gumshoe. No. No. Death was due to a loss of blood. He was stabbed once in the stomach. <laughs> because my sleep schedule was somehow fucked. By you? Death wasn't immediate, but the wound is fatal. I... Let's see. Allow me to repeat myself, Mr. Wright. The victim was a detective. You know what that means, don't you? Uh-oh. What, Mr. Wright? What does it mean? Well, it means the police department will consider it a matter of pride to have me found guilty. They will use any means at their disposal to do so. Well, hopefully, 
uh, you managed to get some like half decent rest with fi uh, rest fix. This case, this case gets worse and worse with everything I learn. So you the chief prosecutor? That is correct. I'm responsible for overseeing every trial handed by prosecutors in this district. I make pro the prosecutors have what they need to do the job and manage every aspect. Those are my responsibilities, in, in a nutshell. Some of the things are absolute bitches because the game is picky. Okay. Thank you for the heads up on the pickiness. I'll keep an eye out for detail. Still, I'm a little surprised. I would think you'd recognize the district's chief prosecutor, Mr. Wright. No? Huh? In fact, it seems impossible you wouldn't. Um, Lana. What happened to your hand? Oh, this? I cut myself by accident when I stabbed him, that is. Wait, I know I'm late to this, but I was switching around the tabs and stuff. You want to meet little old me? Yeah? Why not? We're friends. Wouldn't you want to meet your, like, like, your friends in person? Friendly partners can set a 15 minute stream delay. Why would anyone do that? I don't know. That seems that seems really weird. <laughs> yeah, Pipton has to wait 15 minutes in order for uh, Town of Salem. <laughs> that lay is an entire game behind. <laughs> you know what? I, I, I would love to see Pipton do that for an April Fool's prank. Anyways. Huh? I'm not very good at being a criminal, I suppose. How am I supposed to defend this? Sounds an interesting subject. Wait, she was in the class ahead of me, wasn't she? The games are 50 minutes in length and will loop perfectly. <laughs> Um, you were in school with me, correct? A few years above her? Emma told you that too, didn't she? Well, why not? I did drag him all the way here from his office. Although it seems he has very little in common with Mia. Hey! He was in law school. I was in my third year and she was auditing the class. She was different from the other students. Different? She was strong. She'd do anything to become a defense attorney. Anything. That was probably why she was attracted to me. Uh, okay. <laughs> My brain has flawed asleep. <laughs> the same. Okay. Excuse me? Intellectually attracted. Lana was at the top of her class in school. I was the best there was. <laughs> oh. I was doing pretty good in school too, by the way. It sounds a bit different when Emma says it. Well, Mr. Wright? Hey, excuse me? As you can plainly see, I've admitted my guilt. I think it's safe to say. There's no way you can take this case. None. Oh, thank you for the hydrating. Get some agua. <sighs> Thank you. Hydrates are very important in this game. Man, I'm hungry. Go fucking eat gumbo. Grab a sandwich or something. Some crackers. <laughs> One person says, man, I'm hungry. Five people go, fucking eat. Eat, you son of a bitch. Eat. <laughs> but Lana... Why? Why are you doing this to me? You never think of anyone but yourself. I know you didn't do it, Lana. I know. So, how can you say you did? If I lose you, I'll be all alone. I... I hate you, Lana. Mr. Wright? Well, combo is gone and stream. Okay. 
Yes? I believe our discussion here has ended. The rest, I leave to you. Um, and you're requesting my services as your defense? Don't lose any sleep over it. Your client has confessed, after all. The case is over. R right, I'll do what I can to get the bottom of this. Lana has confessed to the crime, yes. But something doesn't fit. It's that look in Emma's eyes. There's something else going on here. And I'm going to find out what. I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. Huh? But what? My sister. She's not always like that, you know. I just never expected to be, uh, to be defending another prosecutor again. She's changed a lot. She used to be so gentle. Always smiling. Everyone liked her. This case gets really weird, not gonna lie. Okay. All, all, all I ask is that you refrain from both gameplay spoilers, unless requested, or story spoilers. Uh, that's 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 a given. That's one of the that's I think that's one of the one of the rules. I I gotta I gotta double check the rules. I see some. Okay. What happened to her? I don't know for certain myself. I think maybe she. Well, maybe not. It's not like there's something that defies a simple scientific explanation. Oh, all in my brain right now are ball jokes. Let them loose, fix. Air them out. <laughs> air, air, air out the ball jokes. <laughs> Let's go check out this underground park at the prosecutor's office, shall we? Uh, okay. Prosecutor's office, underground parking lot. So this is the lot where it all happened. It looks like they're still investigating. Funny that my first visit to the prosecutor's office should be like this. Hey everyone, keep up the good work. Hey, well, what are you thinking? Well, they're going to be my co-workers three years from now, after all. No harm in saying hello. Uh, yes, uh, redeem the, or uh, refund the, the moving ban. I, I don't, I think it was, uh, I think it was during Minecraft, I think. Actually, there is. You know, attorneys aren't supposed to examine crime scenes. I'm trying not to stand out too much here, see? Hey there. You're expecting to go unnoticed here, partner? Partner? Holy shit, it's the bean slinger. Whatever way I said. Oh, uh. Oh yeah, no, I, I, I yeah. That, that was Santa Claus uh, last night. What do we have here? Looks like a bambina got loose from the ranch is up to no good. Folks gotta learn to keep the doggies tied down, partner. It does slap. Looks like a snake alert, not gonna lie. What do, you know what? He's a cow puncher. Let's, let's agree on that. Mr. Marshall. Okay, but in all honesty, I've always wanted a, sh uh, a sh like a close shave, like a, a straight razor. <clears throat> Marshall looks more like a sheriff to me. Look at here, Bambina. I know, I know how you feel, but this is my gang's gold strike. See, strike. This is our claim, our territory, with a mother load of evidence. If you're vexing to mess with what's ours, you'll regret it, partner. Did you just run to shoot me? You know what? You know what dreams the cacti out here in the desert? Oh, do you know what dreams the cacti out in the desert dream? If you want to? What's this guy talking about? And now he's drinking. You head along not home now. Happy trails, Bambina. <laughs> Sir, we are just a guy. <laughs> Was that a hombre, a friend of yours? I don't. I'm not. I'm not gonna say anything. Uh, kind of, sort of. Yeah, he's a detective. 
He thinks he's a sheriff from the Wild West, it seems. What's this? A wallet? Um, excuse me, officer. Wait, what are you doing, Mr. Wright? What am I doing? I just found this wallet, so I'm handing it over to the police. I did not I did not say with a J. I said hombre. I think the word before it was... Uh, I can't remember. What am I doing? I just found... Oh, yeah. I don't believe it. This is real basic. Anything at a crime scene is evidence. Let's be scientific in those, please. Just put it in your pocket. How is that scientific? Sounds like theft to me. Wallet hastily stuffed into pocket. I'm called to duty already. And at my tender age. You're not supposed to say the H's. Okay. Ombre. Am I, am I, is, it, is it ombre? I, I'm I'm no good with uh, the the only languages I know are English, C plus plus, a little bit of JavaScript, German, and uh, like a, a, a small handful of Latin. No, oh, well, I'm not fluent in shit posts. That's the thing. There's still a lot that confuses me, and I think I'm getting of that of that age, boomer final, uh, where where some say say something in uh, C plus plus, um, four left left uh left parentheses int, uh i equals zero i i plus plus, uh i is i is greater than or less than to let's say ten. Right parentheses, left left squiggle bracket, uh, debug dot log, left parentheses, left quotation, uh, high general, right uh, right right quote right quotations, right parentheses, uh, semicolon, right uh, right squiggle bracket. Uh, there you go. Now that now that should say uh, hello general ten times to you. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm so I'm so sorry. I I I am total total fucking nerd. I'm I'm called to duty already, and I'm my tender age. Here, I'll show you the trick to examining evidence in detail. Okay. By the way, her sparkling. I can tell that she's been waiting for this. Okay, okay. Now, look at the court record. Gaming. How's it going, Aya? You have to be sure to examine evidence carefully on all sides. Now let's start examining from every angle. I'm just doing this in circles. What is this wallet doing? H N B M. What a Weird combination of letters. Alright. Look, I think there might be a clue here. You should check it out with a press of enter. This, this is an ID card. Sergeant Bruce Goodman, ID 584-2189. It's funny when people on YouTube insult my identity expect me to care what they think. You get insulted by your identity? I, uh, all it is is a username. Unless somehow you're like wicked famous and we don't know that yet. Thank you, General, for that, for that hydrate. Welcome to hell. <laughs> I should change hydrate to ingest agua. <laughs> Somebody needs to come and see furry. Oh, I see. Okay. See, well, isn't scientific investigation useful? I guess. Though I don't see what science has to do with it. A 
I feel like the ID is going to come in hand, uh, the ID number. Be sure to examine every piece of evidence we find. Uh, I guess I've got to be on my toes from now on. Aha! A ladder. Um, that's a step ladder. What's the difference? In scientific terms, please. That's scientific, huh? Look at the base nature of things, Mr. Wright. This all seems so horribly familiar somehow. Look! A door. This must mean something. I'm not sure that doors mean anything. No, it won't open. A mysterious lock. A <laughs> stepladder. I'm stuck. <laughs> Mr. Wright, you need to learn to enjoy life more. Let's finish our investigation first, shall we? Here, a phone. Let's see if it works. Hey, don't touch stuff we don't need to be touching. I can't hear anything. My ears. No, my ears. Maybe it's due to the uh, bar barometric pressure. What is she babbling about? Hey, what did you just say? See, you can hear just fine. The phone's broken. This is where the cars leave the lot. The air on the ground makes it more look more like an entrance. What are you talking about? It's plainly an exit. Well, maybe it's both? Kind of a dual purpose? How about I don't enjoy life, huh? Nose fix, you're going to enjoy life whether you like it or not. As everyone should. Aha! The theory of relativity. What? Uh, I've got to write this down. Uh, hey, Mr. Wright. <laughs> enjoy your life or else. <laughs> Like a 6 out of 10? What you eating? Maybe you know? Was Mr. Relativity German? Or was he British? Mr. Relativity. Relativity. Are you sure that was his name? This wall is in our way. It's got a faucet for water. Wait, I know. This wall is merely a facade, hiding the truth. This is no wall but a water tank. I feel to see how it makes any difference either way. Nuked pizza? Well, at least it wasn't too, too bad. Pizza's still half decent. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Nu nu nuking is, uh, it's, it's very common North American shorthand for, uh, microwaving. So if you want to microwave at dinner, then you just nuke it in the microwave. Something something to do with the microwave radiation tying to, like, nuclear radiation or some shit like that. I can't remember. An oil drum. It looks like it's filled with water. It's heavy. I can't even budge it. The drum over here is on its side. Wait, I know. I'll hide in here and do a, dis a stakeout. I think you'll probably just get arrested. In fact, you may not even hide need to... May not even have to hide in the drum to get arrested. I ordered pizza at like 5 a.m. because Scam made me want pizza. <laughs> I'm not repeating that line, Spix. Yeah, I'm never saying that again. Good. <laughs> I feel shame. Shame. <laughs> I don't even like pizza that much. Yeah, sometimes you just get like an intense craving for things. For me, it's like, it often happens with pierogies. Like, I, 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 I like pierogies. Pierogies are delicious. I just, sometimes I get like, really, really intense cravings for them. And it's weird. I just had salad. What did, what kind of salad? <coughs> but I'm not suspicious. Well, no time to waste. Let's get hungry for clues. I wonder what this is. Well, partner, looks like you got no intention of going home quietly. Scuff Caesar salad again? Okay. The sheriff! The zoinks! Like I said before, this here's our claim. You best be moseying along, unless you're fixing to bite the bullet. Gah, scary. 
Could you just tell us one thing? Who owns that car? Instead of croutons, it was pasta. Like... Dry pasta or cooked pasta? Well, well. The little filly's got a good nose on her. Wanna know who rides that red Mustang with the body in her saddle? Eh? Please. No problem, partner. About time for vittles anyways. Get yourself to the saloon up on the 12th floor of the prospector's office. Might just find you a cerveza you like. Prospector's office? Where does this guy think he is? And when for that matter? I will piss this building to you fuck off. Like this little passables. Interesting. I thought of doing like it that way. I feel like you, you'd really enjoy uh, pasta salad if you haven't had it. Ensalada. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick search on this one. It looks like a type of dish, not like a pasta. Or are you talking about like gnocchi or something? No. Note to self, like a Vittles Saloon Cerveza. Maybe we should check out room two, uh, 1202, the high prosecutor's office. In any case, stay away from the car. You can, you can look around here all you like. Just keep your paws off or claim. Right, great. Great, maybe there are some clues around here, Mr. Right? Let's check it out. Excuse me? Were you two all set? Us. She's the rice balls lady. I don't know. I can't tell them apart. I'm not that blind. <laughs> You're selling lunches? Here? This is a crime scene. Hello, half and half was it? Oh, uh, thanks. And you, sir? Yes? Some crunchy goodness coming at you. Actually, that kind of sounds nice right now. I already had dinner, but I w it was like chili cheese fries. But like... There, there are some things just like that sounds really good. Got new glasses frames? Hell yeah. That's awesome. I've had the exact same glasses frames for five years. I, I, fun fact, I don't actually wear glasses. And Moist is supposed to, I think. I should probably get new ones? Yeah, probably. Or or you can just, yeah, either ch change, change the crystals or polish them down. Yeah, thanks. Interesting way of doing business. This area is off limits to anyone without clearance. Especially passersby. Or are you officers? Uh, no, but you? You don't exactly look like the type to have clearance. Well, it's hardly a way to greet someone. Even if my days as, as the cough-up queen are over. Why would you name yourself that carrying lunches? Cough, huh? You know, I'm feeling kind of full. Maybe I'll pass on lunch. Quite connected to this case, you see. The images are burned into my eyes, you might say. Yes, all the sordid secrets. Secrets? Dear me, you are a slow one, aren't you? I'm referring to the murder. The stabbing of that detective.
What? A witness clearly saw the saw me committing the crime. You mean you're the witness my sister was talking about? Please, cough up, Queen. Tell us what happened. The name is Angel Star. Don't you go forgetting it. And before you know it, I'll have you whimpering at my heels. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, she means it. Somehow, I knew. Yesterday was a day of destiny. I knew something was going to happen. Just like I know that the daily special on Friday every week is salmon. I feel like that's important to know. Destiny? Was yesterday special for some reason? You're a defense attorney, right? You should know, then. You should know the foul misdeeds of the evil ones who haunt this den of inequity. <laughs> Me when you're dead. I'ma fuck your dad, I'ma fuck your dad, I'ma fuck your dad. <laughs> Evil ones. Prosecutors. They have no qualms at the ba blackening of the name of innocence. And yesterday they paid homage to the most evil one of all. They gave an award for King of Prosecutors. What a farce. So she's saying there was some sort of prosecutor's convention yesterday. I was almost compelled to lace their lunches with something foul. Do you have a personal grievance against prosecutors or something? Or is there some kind of scientific evidence of this, um, evil? Young miss? Mock me at your own risk. You'll soon find out why they call me the cop queen. Ew. The most heinous of all the evil ones, the ones they awarded yesterday? It was in his car they found the body. Proof that he devours the evilest lunches of all. Really? Really what? I'm totally confused. One thing's clear, this lunch lady has a thing against prosecutors. So what exactly is it that you witnessed, Miss Star? It was a fascinating spectacle, to be sure. I now feel I know what they talk about when they when they talk about a woman's tr a woman's wrath. See, Lana Sky wield that knife so. Her knife flashed in anger, bringing him to a sad end. It was truly a sight to see. You mean you saw the very moments of the crime? The sound of his silvery ties to this world being cruelly caught still rings in my ears. And the rhythmic meat of Lana Sky's knife. Wait a second, you know Lana Sky? Hmm. Of course. It's quite a feat, becoming Chief Prosecutor. How many lunchboxes of sin did she uh, pack to make that journey, I wonder? What's Lana backwards? Uh, anal. Ah, shit. She always travels light. Sorry about that. Now, why would this pretty lunch lady know the chief prosecutor's name? Um, can we ask you a bit about yourself, Miss Star? I come every day to sell lunches. I import only the freshest and best from the Far East. For some reason, the box lunches are a hit here. Why not make the lunches here rather than important? Did you say something? No. Only true connoisseurs can understand. The kind you can only tell who has tried General So's Trilobite Lunch that. <gasps> Final, did you have a stroke saying sin? Yeah, uh, a little bit. Also, I can't believe General So has made Trilobite. Or owns Trilobites. Or is the Trilobite. <laughs> it's General! Oh, shit! <laughs> Alright, guys, poll time. I actually got a poll. I have an idea for the poll. Hold on.
There we go. <laughs> this is why he suggested it. Ah, shit! <laughs> Cuckin'. Ah, never mind, you win. I don't even want to appreciate part of a trial by its flavor. Anyways, I come here every day to sell lunches. Why are we that's a record? Fresh and giggles. My boyfriend works in the security room here at the prosecutor's office. Your boyfriend? See the security room over there? The glass walled booth? So my lunch is in. Since I'm here anyways, I drop in to see him. I figure with like nonchalant funny polls like that, uh, might might as well uh, be, be able to like saw some of your points. All right, so <laughs> sixty-three for he owns the lunch. Three percent for or. Sorry, 95% for he owns lunch. <laughs> Only one person voted for he is the fish. <laughs> so to scientifically analyze the data available so far. You missed our lunch vendor with an ulterior motive for coming here. Useful analysis. N not. Did you have a bad experience with the prosecutor, Miss Star? I sent some hostility. Hostility? Ha, huh, perhaps. Prosecutors are all alike, and the bigger they get, the worse they smell. Kind of like 10-day-old clams in the chowder. I wonder if Miss Star was involved in some sort of legal trouble in the past. What the fuck, apparently it's possible for the future balloons here to just not be a monkey. Care to explain on that one? Only true OGs remember like the very first Bloons game. I'm not talking tower defense, I'm talking like the actual Flash game. So, so, uh, has anybody else here have actually played the original Bloons game? I wonder if Mr. was involved in some sort of legal trouble in the past. That'd be a sure cause of food poisoning. Scientifically, of course. I mean, now now you're talking cough-up queen. I thought she was just a lunch vendor, but now I'm not so sure. Are we in Edgeworth's office? Gumbo is fixed. We'll all send it over to everyone on the friend server. Uh, are you talking about that? Uh, I don't know. Did Gumbo get fucking mod now? Or in that chat? I I had to leave that chat. I wasn't really interacting with anybody there. I mean, I, I like interacting with people, but... I just kept getting at everyone, and it just kept irritating me. And especially for really inane reasons. We remade the final room to the piss room. Okay. I just... It was one of those things, like, I was there. And, like, I would appear, uh, like, every so often, like, pop into the chat. But I've also have, like, 50 other channels that I'm, like, part of. And just every, every time I get added everyone, it just kind of it irritated me, you know? I tried muting announcements, but for some reason it kept bypassing it. I don't know what the hell was going on. This is the kind of room that just screams, I can do the job. Quite a change from your office, really. Thanks.
It wasn't at everyone in a specific role. It, 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 I, I, I just, I, I was getting frustrated because every time I tried to like turn off like notifications, it just, I just got frustrated. Like I said, I, I still like everybody, and I'm not holding any grudges. I was just getting a little bit frustrated. Look, look, there's a trophy or something here. A trophy? What, that shield? It takes real nerve to display stuff like this. Whoever his office is, is they must be a real stuck-up jerk. Phoenix Wright. You never tie of prying into other people's business, do you? We have the bonfire for chatting? Hell yeah. And hopefully... The bonfire will become a dictatorship now with the new rules changes. <laughs> I said it entirely jokingly. I I I really want to reframe it from being a, a, a dictatorship, you know. No, oh. you never try prying into other people's businesses, do you? That voice. Long time no see, Edgeworth. Huh? Uh, Mr. Edgeworth, you know him from somewhere? I was in a server that kept banging people for no reason before, yeah. I can't understand how people just go along with having at everyone enabled. I only, only have at everyone enabled for important servers. Uh, of course, I'm his biggest fan. My sister introduced us once and... Right. Her sister is the chief prosecutor, after all. Well, what brings you here? I'll warn you. I've been known to be a real stuck-up jerk. No, did I? No. It was just Mr. Right here. He... Hey, don't blame me. We're just here to investigate a murder. Find out one balloon stream? I was actually really considering it today. But I really want to get this game, like, set and done so I can work on the next two games. And I'm actually kind of really excited for them. One of them is going to be a Switch game, and one of them is going to be an emulated game. I finally just wish, wanted to wish you a good day. Thanks, Hira. I hope you're having a good day, too. Thank you for the monster check. Oh, Christ almighty. Oh, fuck my neck. Off I go. Okie dokie. Thanks, thanks for stopping in, Yuri. I appreciate you, man. I should put my phone on charge. Give me a second. Oh, my friend went live. Nice. We're here. We're here. We're just here to investigate a murder case. Murder. The body was found in this nasty, bright red sports car in the parking lot. Hmm? That would be my car. What of it? What? Hey, <laughs> Mitsubishi Yumi. Holy fuck, Gumbo. Don't. Oh my god, dude. What? Your car? I'll say one thing she certainly can't scream. So the body was found in your car. Go ahead, say it right. You think I did it, don't you? After you went through all that trouble to help me last year, no, no less. No, we don't think you did it. It was my sister who stabbed him. Uh, wait, no, she didn't do that. I mean. Also, I... God, I hate this damn family match. Can anyone... One of y'all kidnap me for ten months? I'll take ten months as payment. So, where would you like to go as fix? Would you like to go to, uh... Gumbo Land or Final Land? Keep in mind, if you, if you come visit Final Land, you'll have a chance to, uh... You'll probably, probably be harassed by Ali. <laughs> Wait... So you're the chief prosecutor's little sister, then? Yes, sir. 
I'm a sky. And, uh, nice to meet you again. I'm <laughs> Britain. You know what, actually, like, I only visited uh, Great Britain once. And that was just because it was a flyover from Germany to, uh, to uh, Canada. Because my, my family took a month-long vacation in, in, in Germany. Beautiful, beautiful area. Like, I visited Germany, Liechtenstein, Austria, Poland, uh, no, Portugal. Uh, I don't want to say Poland. Switzerland, did I already say that one? But, like, we stopped over in, in Great Britain at, uh, I want to say it was Heathrow? Is that the, is that the international uh, one in London? Heathrow? I visited Great Britain once and never left. <laughs> so, Sphix, you keep talking about wanting to, like, move to Canada. Are you going to try to become an international student here? Honestly, Norway and Canada are like the top two countries I want to live in. I, I, in all honesty, if you're deciding between the two, go Norway. Canada's sometimes really close, like too, too close to the U.S. And we got, a, we got a lot of people who have the same kind of mentality more and more. It, it, it didn't used to be that way, but now it's just like, I don't know. I'd pick Norway just because he hot, yeah. It's also closer to EU shit. Yeah. So if I mean if if you're if you're more than like wanting to try it out, I'd say go for it, Sphix. I I, I consider becoming an international student, but I don't know how 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 because I'm not the quickest learner when it comes to other languages. So I'd like to, uh... I'd li I would have liked to be an international student, but I don't think it would have been that decent. Ditching LA as soon as I have the chance to... F LA. I'm still technically EU, because Irish. Oh, okay. Wait, Gumbo was narrowed down which, which island he's on. He's on Ireland. <laughs> Sphix becoming quadrilingual because from to Canada. Yeah, no. Yes. What would be the fourth language? Oh, Latin America. Oh, okay, I see. Okay. <laughs> English, Spanish, French, and dumbass. <laughs> that, that's good. I like that. All right, all right. That didn't sound forced at all. Ah, now I remember. You've really grown. I'll admit it was a surprise for me, too. To think that my own car would become the scene of a murder. More surprising still. I'm being forced to prove my superior's guilt. I can understand. Wait, what did you say? Lana Sky is the chief prosecutor. Top prosecutor in the district. She can't prosecute herself, so I'll be prosecuted at the trial tomorrow. You? Mr. Edgeworth. I'm native and dumbass. Nice. To be honest, it's a bit of a miracle I'm still here at all. What do you mean? Rumors. You've heard the rumors about me, haven't you? Miles Edgeworth. Start to remember a time when there weren't rumors about this guy. Edgeworth needs to stop getting his property involved in murder cases. I at this point, I don't think he can control that. Forging evidence, arranging false testimony. Illegal searches, you name it. 
Thanks to you, my innocence was established in the trial at the end of last year. Hot and gay. Nice. However, there are some who say I'm re the one responsible for the current incidents. What? That's crazy. Hmm. Some people need very, li very little excuse to think ill of others. It's a fact of life. It's impossible to stop. But some of them even go as to f uh, so far as to present me with toys like this. They think it's funny. Toys, that bronze shield. There's gotta be a story behind that one. Chief Prosecutor Sky? Yes, we first worked together on our case two years ago. It was my first big case. That's right, I remember. Two years ago, I wasn't even a lawyer yet. Since then, I've always felt that she was looking out for me. It appears I was mistaken. Mistaken? Why? I mean, I know she's not the warmest person. But I'm sure she felt some responsibility for you. Then, why? Why did she stab someone in the trunk of my car? Not only that, she stabbed him with my knife. Okay, Edgeworth, why do you have a knife? My Epic Gamer phone has a voice changer feature. Neat. Wh what? <laughs> Miss Edgeworth, your knife was the murder weapon. To be specific, it was the knife I keep in the toolbox in the trunk of my car. Why do you have a knife in a toolbox? Um, Edgeworth. What? Are you sure you didn't do it? The only knives I own are kitchen knives. Come on, can you take a joke? You have a strange sense of humor, Mr. Wright. I've been wondering, what the heck is this? It has a big K on it. Mumbles of prosecutors. Huh? What was that? It's the King of Prosecutors trophy. The King of Prosecutors? <laughs> I love Phoenix. <laughs> it is, it's a great honor. They send that shield to the best prosecutor each year. What? So? So that K, that's... K stands for king? If I didn't have my gay awakening earlier, this would have been it. I like that. The When you, when you, when you come to terms with yourself, gay awakening. That's... I, I like that. That's... It sounds both cryptic and really, like, heroic. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know why, but I like the idea you can just click on shit in the background and ask, what the fuck is this? <laughs> yeah, you got a problem with that? I didn't design the thing. King of Prosecutors. Kind of like Employee of the Month, only better. What the fuck is this? The K stands for Kappa. <laughs> a work desk. It's quite tidy as one might expect. What a nice desk. Easy to use and easy on the eyes. It's polished so well I can see my own reflection. Strange. Why did I just picture, picture Detective Gumshoe? No, he's dead. No, be it Gum <sighs> Gumshoe was probably my favorite character. Well, now I'm sad. Maybe I'll take that name plaque as a souvenir. Don't, he'll sue you. Every time I hear Gumshoe, I just think of Spix Coin. <laughs> Come true. <laughs> wow, this jacket is even lacer than his usual ones. Must be his lucky trial jacket. 
I like a jacket, right. I've never seen him wear it. I'm sure there's a story behind why it's in a frame. Maybe I'll be naughty. I'll take a picture. She's getting way too excited about this. My, my, my. What an amazing bouquet. Just right for Mr. Edgeworth. No kidding. Hey, there's a card on it. Back from the dead. Wendy. Oh, no. Old bag. Wendy? I've heard that name somewhere before. And beside it, a giant steel samurai. Wow, I want one. Huh? There's something written on the bottom of his foot. Between a rock and a hard place, Wendy. Wendy, is she Mr. Mr. Edgeworth's fiance? Um, I don't think so. Hey, a chessboard. I'm not too up on my chest, but it looks like blue's in a bit of a tight spot. The red knights have surrounded the blue pawn. Huh? Those horses are mounted are mounted knights. Their swords have really sharp edges. Check out that poor pawn. His head is kind of spiky. Kind of reminds me of you. Mr. Edgeworth must be an avid chess player. What's wrong, Mr. Wright? Edges surrounding a pawn with spiky hair. Nah, it's nothing. My mom questioned about my gay dar yesterday. And asked for examples. About, like, who is... Who you think is gay? It's... Is that what she was asking about? <laughs> Yo, blue is in this game. Which one, artist blue or blue Maasai? <laughs> Gotta be specific. I can I can't and say yes. So I can tell my one of my buddies. Are <laughs> Whoa, these are all case files. They're stacked up to the ceiling. There's even a ladder. Odd. I thought it was supposed to look good with heights. I must have someone get them from. Please don't tell me he's dead, game. Please stop that. Stranger, I just picked a detective gumshoe. I must study this case report so closely. He's so cool. You wouldn't say that if you saw him sweating bullets up on that ladder. I, I'm, the, I'm the same way with obliviousness, Gumbo. Ooh, cute. What pretty tea set. I go more for the instant tea bags myself. Amazing. The drawer below is uh, filled with packets of tea leaves. They're all sorted by place of origin and flavor. Look at this royal blend. One exquisitely splendid concoction. There's such a thing as taking a hobby too far. Okay, but I'm not, like, blatantly homosexual. Don't you dare think I'm straight. Alright, Sphix. I figured out what's your username. Sphix is not straight. <laughs> there, I've solved your username. We did it. What are we talking about? Uh, homosexuality, I think? Ozello. Hi, Ali. I hope you're doing alright. You don't you don't have to be here if you're if you're struggling to be, but like. You're more than welcome to stay if you'd like. Whoa! What a view. It must be nice to have an office on the twelfth floor. I guess you would feel important. Incidentally. Were you to jump out the window, the time until the impact for the ground would be. Got it. Approximately 3.23 seconds. That's handy to know. Hope you're all well, of course. I'm doing alright. A little bit more energy than yesterday, thankfully.
Okay, am I missing something here? Sir wasn't here yesterday, spent the whole day with Owen, which I needed. No worries, no worries. There, but there wasn't very many people here on the stream. I only made the stream last for an hour anyways, just because I wasn't having the energy. Took a nap and he muted me poutine. She slept beside me so I woke up to a hot plate of greenness. Ha! <laughs> Hopefully it wasn't too soggy though. And it was it was perfect, best poutine I've ever had. Nice. This must be the victim's blood, right? Either that or Edgeworth cut himself peeling an apple. What is Edgeworth doing with a knife like this anyways? Hey, maybe he spends his week weekends roughing it in the wild. <laughs> Edgeworth? In the wild? I think my fruit peeling theory is more likely. Yeah, and I, I agree with Fix. It's awesome to have good people to rely on. And I'm glad that he was there for you. Son of a bitch. Change your phone number so I have zero contact there now. Nice. As much as I hate her, she's still my mom, you know. Of course. That was a scary thought. Check it out, there's a metal plate here. Hmm. Looks like the names of all the previous recipients are engraved on it. Wow, one guy's listed a bunch of times. Von Karma. Guess it must be a foreigner? Uh, yeah, that's probably it. Holding grudges is... Like, if you, if you hold grudges all the time, it'll burn you up. But it's... I feel like having one or two grudges in your life is still pretty is pretty healthy to have. As long as, you know, it's not like maliciously held for no like fucking reason. Only 40% rage and spite? Bitch, please, I'm like 80%. I have I have this un unhealthy thing of always hating people first before I get to know them, you know? I just go from having a grudge to just not caring about them anymore. Nice. I think it's I think it's a good way to go. Like you, you guys all think I'm like this chill person, but like internally, I'm I'm like very very spite filled, you know. Jealous rage and all that. I'm still trying to. <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm talking about in person's fix. I it's like. 
a lot, a lot of my friends don't know this, but like, I hate them before, like, yeah. And to be honest, the only people I've actually fallen in love with is someone I haven't, I've found myself being unable to hate even like the first get go. Or from every swim, he must have been an amazing prosecutor. I'd like to meet this Mr. Von Karma sometime. When she says it, his name does kind of a ring to it. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Yeah, well, the problem is, is that... Well... The one person I, I grew not to... Or did, couldn't hate right off the bat was... Uh was my ex and she she ended up mentally abusing me I'm not gonna name names for reasons uh, and the other person uh, unfortunately had a boyfriend and that was a fucking dumbass situation to have and nobody 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 in my chat personally knows me so Some hot tea, right? Uh, no, but thanks. She didn't even look at me. Hmm, must be, you must brew the le have to brew the leaves a long time to get a rich flavor like this. We pre infused the leaf tea with steam before brewing. I knew it, so that's the secret to your work. So Alright, whatever. About this card. Launch line vendors only accept cash, no cards. Especially not a card belonging to somebody else. No, this isn't a credit card, it's an ID card. Blocks are detective, and you're showing this to me, the lunch lady. Why? It's like showing a fine honeyed ham to a detective. I always feel like I'm being mocked. Yeah, it was first name, last name, their address is insert address here, yeah. If Gumbo told you, but in his stream, we spent like 80% of it just shit talking exes. And like, I will say the memories I had with her were good memories. But up until the very end, I realized what the hell was happening. What the hell? What the hell happened? And that's that's why I ended it with her. But I tried to end it amicably. Five days after we broke up, she sent me like this most toxic letter. Problem is, is that if I if I want to talk with her again, I I don't know what I'd say, you know. Like I try to still be on good terms with her. I know she wouldn't want to have be anywhere near me. I. I and to be honest, ever ever since that day was kind of a shot in the head. Like, I don't know. Like, I tried for the longest time after, like, years after that. Like, I tried to love myself, but I found no fucking reason to. I... I was distraught, but, like... Eating is a great idea. Yeah, nah, it, I, 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 tried, I tried to think about that once, and I... After on being able, unable to do the long distance, well, I did a long distance relationship, and I kind of hated it, just because of, we lived so far away. And I, I was in college, she was in college, uh, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, but my last ex legit suey baited. What's suey? S U I. Anyway's an awful person, he fucking hateful to everyone, me included, and I ended up for three months the same day. I ended up, I sat beside Owen for the first time in a shirt class. Nice. You also and Ali, I I I know I know you appreciate Al, I, and I'm I'm saying this like objectively. 
Uh, I know it was you say like, like love at first sight. I was love at first sight with my first ex too. I'm not saying I'm not saying Owen's gonna end it with you or that you should end it with Owen. Far from it, actually. If you're happy, you're happy. I'm just saying not to like. Until things are for sure, like 100% happy, I wouldn't give it like. Uh, how do I define this? Oh, suicide baiting. Okay, I see. Ya. I. If you get what I mean, feel free to say so. But I'm just saying like. Last relationship was completely void of love because we were both gay. They were just a woman. Okay. Can't double click things anymore. Fuck. It's against my policy to discuss evidence for the defense. Especially with you. He doesn't like you much, does he, right? Now with Edgeworth, it's never personal. It's all about winning tomorrow. Basically, it says you were the best of the best last year, huh? You can take that foolish grin elsewhere, right? I lost a day of work to receive that travesty. Huh? Why is that? I had to go to the police department to see that broken shield. The police department? Yeah, that's uh, kind of what I'm saying, Allie. I'm saying, like, there, there, is, there is still true love in this world. I do believe that. Uh, but I'm just saying, like, take it in stride, you know? Like, until you know 100%, and he knows 100%, just still relatively keep your guard up, if that makes sense. I can take the place of gay bestie. I'm, so, I'm, I'm sorry that you haven't spoken with your friend in 14 years. Well, friend with quotes. Police department. Yes, right next to the police station downtown. You've been there, haven't you? Where Detective Gumshoe works? Yeah. I'm always wondering something about your shield. Why is it broken? What does it matter? I've got more important things to worry about. Oh, right. He doesn't seem too concerned about his reward, for better or for worse. Yesterday was a very busy day for the prosecutor's office. Maybe we should ask him more about yesterday. Finally, I'm fucking somewhere. <laughs> Applications for new bestie. Requirement one. Gay. <laughs> Thank you, boss. Check. Mm. Okay. I, I always, I always feel like I should warn people. Like, I don't mean to sound jaded, of course, but, like, scuffed IT time made it here. <laughs> Alright, thanks for looks, fix. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm happy you're happy, Allie. More power to you for that. I just, you know, I don't want to have to get my hands bloody if, if, if he breaks your heart. Tell me more about yesterday. The day of the murder. Yesterday was the annual uh, cleaning day at the prosecutor's office. Cleaning day. Working with the police department, we sort and file all evidence for solved cases. We call it evidence transferal. He won't for at least the foreseeable future. Ah, oh, it's okay, at least. Wiping your hands of old cases, in other words. Oh, and another thing. A ceremony was held at the police department. There's an annual review for out, uh, for outstanding police officers and prosecutors. And that's when you got the shield? That was at the police department yesterday afternoon. I got back here at 5.12. That's very precise. People like myself and Mr. Edgeworth pride ourselves with enterprise precision, Mr. Wright. Now I place a little faith in my memory. The other thing I trust is solid evidence. This is a parking lot stub of, from the underground lot. The murder took place around 5.15. So 
So the murder happened right after you got back. What, right? I appreciate it if you direct that suspicious glare elsewhere. Um. Excuse me, but uh, Mr. Edgeworth, uh, anyone on the premises? I'm Edgeworth, what is it? I'm here, sir, at the request of the chief, sir. I've got your report, sir. Report? I was going to remove a song from my playlist, but I forgot what what it was in my playlist is eight hours long, so it's going to take a while to find it again. So why don't you start from the end? Go backwards. Usually works. Did you find new evidence against the case against uh, Chief Prosecutor Sky? I don't like the way this conversation is going at all. Uh, Sky, sir? No, sir. The name, not, not, no name of that kind, sir. Not in this report, sir. I think I just heard Edgeworth's lid blow. Mr. Edgeworth's lid isn't on very tight, is it? I made a clear request to the police department, did I not? I need to focus on the trial tomorrow, so don't bring me anything unrelated. Sir, but sir. I'm just following orders, sir. They told me to bring this to you. I like this guy. I wasn't aware of the... Give me your name. Uh, yes, sir. Meekins, sir. Officer Meekins. Right, Officer Meekins. Take your report and leave. And good luck with that raise next month. It's always already... Uh, it's okay. Reminds me, I wanted to post a song to, uh... To the Discord. I gotta remember that later. But, sir, I didn't know. Poor guy, looks like he was absent on the day they gave out brains and good luck. Right. Yes, sir. Guy, he caught me off guard. As you can see, I'm busy. You may leave now. Well, let's do what he says, Mr. Wright. The victim was a detective from the same department as that patrolman just now. Go down to the police department. You can ask more there. Uh, thanks. He seems to have finally come down, at least. Let's go places. Woo, we're finally here. Why would they put the police department so far away from the prosecutor's office? Beats me that almost took 30 minutes by taxi, and traffic wasn't even that bad. The police department, huh? I've only ever been to criminal affairs next door. Hmm? Hold on, what's that? This is so fucking creepy. Why did- disturbing, why does it undulate like that? Ugh, undulate. Oh, wait, I know. This is the Blue Badger. They're trying to make him the police mascot. Wow, Mr. Wright. Sure know a lot about police. Still, he does seem familiar somehow. Undulate. Pulsate. Gyrate. Why do these things look so different from every everyone else? The police officer included. Because it's a fantasy country. Forget the blue badger. Who's that next one? Someone appears to be dancing with the blue badger. Uh-oh, he knows me. He sure is running over here fast. Oh, thank the heavens above. I thought he was dead. Oh, crap. Gumshoe is alive. Hell yeah. I'm so happy for that, seriously. <laughs> it's moving. <laughs> hey, pal, what are you doing here? That's my line, Detective Gumshoe. Specifically, why were you dancing over there? What, um, well... All this doesn't seem to be busy. This is our chance to get information. Hey, I love you know I'm a very busy man, pal. I fucking love him. I 
I'll give you one word of advice, pal. You better not agree to defend the suspect in this case. W why not? Huh? Well, it's just that the chief prosecutor has confessed to the crime. She says she summoned the detective to the prosecutor's office and she killed him. But what if she's not telling the truth? Yes, well, no. Come on, pal, there's, no, there's plenty of evidence against her. But what if the evidence was faked? Hey, pal, can I speak to you for a second? About me? Why is this little girl so peeved at me? She's a relative of a suspect. She's Lana Sky's sister. Whoa, the chief prosecutor's little sister. Edgeworth admitted to a crime too, and he was innocent. Yep. Gumshoe. I, I, I love how that's a meme, but I also love Gumshoe as a character. When I, come, when I come back to the second game, I can't wait to play it. Or see him again, hopefully. Hopefully. If they somehow get rid of him, I'm going to be pissed. Pissed. Just please investigate this case carefully, okay? Scientifically. Yes, sir. Oh, by the way. You might want to keep your voices down. You don't want to be overheard... Uh, you don't want to be overheard using words like faked. Huh? It's just, it's a sensitive is issue with us these days. So, what are you doing here, Detective Gumption? Me? Oh, well, nothing. Really. They kicked me out of criminal affairs. The Detective Gumption, what did you do this time? What do you mean this time? Then what happened? I know things are busy right now. I mean, with my sister's case and all. It's true. We've never had anyone, an, a chief prosecutor murder anyone before. Only the highest ranked people are being let into criminal affairs now. The, slow, the lowest ranking guy in there is our chief of detectives. They're not letting any of us rank and file detectives in at all. None of you. I know this is an important trial, but isn't it a little odd? So anyways, I thought I'd spend the day getting the badger dance down pat. Um, isn't there anything else you could be doing? Chief of Police himself is directing this investigation, pal. An Officer Marshall was assigned to the underground parking lot. Officer Marshall. Now that I think about it, I might seem to know that Marshall guy. Patrolman is in charge of the, scene, of the crime scene. It's unheard of, pal. That's not what I want to do. Fuck. Hey, that's it. That's the King of Prosecutors Award that Mr. Edgeworth got yesterday. Were you at the award ceremony, Detective Gumshoe? Of course, pal. I got an award for diligence myself. Ah, congratulations. I was wondering, why is the award a shield? And why is it broken? Oh, there's a reason. Um, I'll tell you what it is later. Apparently he's forgotten. <laughs> but I was proud of Mr. Edgeworth for winning that award. Even with all the naysayers in the prosecutor's office. Naysayers, must be because of the rumors. Found in Mr. Edgeworth's car, stabbed with Mr. Edgeworth's knife, huh? Why would drive trip, uh, Chief Prosecutor's got to do such a thing? Wait, I didn't mean... I mean, sure, of course, someone else really did it. Someone must have, um... Someone must have a grudge against Mr. Edgeworth. The car and the knife do seem a little well, too well organized to be a coincidence. Poor Mr. Edgeworth. What could have happened? We have to find out a little bit more of what's going on with Edgeworth. A Detective Gumshoe? What can you tell me about this? Huh? Hey, pal, this is Detective's ID card. You can't just keep that. You have to turn it into the police. People like you that get me into so much trouble all the time. Meaning Detective Gumshoe must drop his card a lot. Mm, let's see. Bruce Goodman. I know a flawless defense to save Edgeworth. What's the, what's the defense? Who's, or whose defense? Shut up, X. 
Goodman sounds familiar. Not my mistake. But didn't you work together with him in criminal affairs? Whoa, now, now I remember. Bruce Goodman. He's the victim. That's what I thought. Can you tell us more, Detective Gumshoe? So this ID card belongs to the victim? He was a detective like myself. Detective Bruce Goodman. Hmm. Don't you think it's strange? I mean, why would the victim's ID card be lying on the ground where we found it? Well, Detective Goodman should have, we should have been at the police department yesterday. It was an evidence transfer for, for a case he handled two years ago. Evidence transfer. Mr. Edgeworth mentioned that too. But Detective Goodman was killed at the prosecutor's office. Well, that's the thing. It's hard to say this, but... Where does that chief prosecutor Sky call them out there to the parking lot? That's some serious delay on my stream, but I don't want on my, but I don't feel like refreshing. I mean, if that's the case, don't, don't like... They don't, don't go out up in arms if there's like a, 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 a delay in response from my side too then. Well, I was confessing as much. He's in a tough spot again. Again. It all started with the murder of that defense attorney, Hammond. Mr. 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 Edgeworth was found innocent. Listen, pal, there have always been rumors about Mr. Edgeworth. Forging evidence, making deals with witnesses. Nothing outright, but there were always whispered rumors. Ever since he was accused of murder, no one's whispering, they're practically shouting. But there's no evidence against him. While Mr. Edgeworth has always been unusually strong ties to the department higher-ups, it's only natural that people would be suspicious. Doesn't seem like it was actually delayed. The message I sent was rendering on your side. Okay. All right. I had no idea that uh, he was under the gun. Anyway, this, his latest case has started a new rumor. People say the only reason he took this case is because he's aiming for the chief prosecutor position himself. Whoa, what? But I know the truth, pal. Nobody wants to be the one who has to put, uh, prosecute the chief prosecutor. Mr. Edgeworth is biting the bullet on this one. He's doing this for all of us. In my defense, Your Honor, who the fuck cares? Just forget, okay, whatever. <laughs> What's your source, Senator? Crab. Welcome back, Spex. God, I hate the fucking laptop. I don't blame you. My source is that I made the fuck up. I really, really want to play that game. Actually, let me check something quickly. Damn it, not on sale again. Pretty sure it's just because it's an old model with Windows 10 slapped on it. Okay. Yeah, uh, Windows 10 is poorly, poor, poorly, poorly optimized for older devices. I uh, it frustrates me to be honest. Where the fuck am I supposed to go?
About this card. What's other uh oh, I already did this? Honestly, I searched on this, but I'm too bald and lazy to figure out how to do it. Same. I've, I've heard I've heard many things about it. And I, in all honesty, I'd love to try to program something for it. But I don't want to. There's deep loaded ISO, uh, but I'm too lazy to get it installed at. Uh, I was wondering about that. Oh, the Dancing Blue Badger? It's my masterpiece. In time for fucked up creepy. You made this detective gum shoe. The chief to get her some designs, I just did my thing, pal. Nice work. It's battery powered so it can go anywhere. There's no switch, so I just dance, dance, dance until the battery dies. Poor Blue Badger. Faded to dance until he drops. <laughs> a work of art. <laughs> and that's all I know about that. I'm not officially on the case, you know. Thank you. Why aren't you handling the case, Detective Gumshoe? We met the guy who is. What was his name? The guy in the parking lot. That'd be Officer Marshall. He was appointed directly by the Chief of Police. Officer Marshall. Is he some kind of Wild West Sheriff or something? No, Jake Marshall is just a regular officer. From West LA. <laughs> For a moment there, I wasn't sure. Look, pal, let me try to make things a little easier for you. Show this and I'll get you to examine the crime scene. Maybe. I'd be surprised if this gets us anywhere. Just act like you're supposed to be there and nobody will look at you twice, pal. Thanks, Gumshoe. I appreciate you. I love blondes! Looks like the investigation is still going. I have to begin back to the shop. Sorry, looks like I'll be stuck in this pit till the sun sleeps. I'll see you in my dreams then. I'm fuck. I'm gonna hate myself for reading this. I'll see you in my dreams tonight then, baby. Oh, still here? I've already got the true sun god. I don't need to seek them. Nice. Right, right now on balloons, I'm trying to unlock the uh, the nav arch of the seas. Mainly because I don't know exactly what that does. Ah, hello. I right, surprise Lux. Didn't I mention? I've got a boyfriend in criminal affairs, too. Do you have the psychologist, Moke? Uh, no. You all have an addiction? I only play, like, one round per day, and then I go off playing Minecraft half the time. What happened to the security guard? Hey, what's wrong, Bambina? You're looking like a doggy that's lost its herd. Jake Marshall. Strange guy to put in charge of a crime scene. The only reason I call you out on that because I don't have the addiction. Yeah, but uh, the problem is I'm trying to watch. Yeah. When you guys kind of made a mock uh, mockery of me for playing uh, uh, Worm so much, I kind of stopped playing because I felt ashamed of myself the second reason is because if like i was I, I did i looking at it i did have a bit of an addiction to worm but like it's because way back when i used to have like a runescape addiction and that that took a lot up, up a lot of my time and like i don't i didn't i didn't want to like I didn't want to. I told myself that I didn't want to invest time in a in a MMO again. One of, one of the reasons why I don't want to play Final Fantasy XIV 
but I, like trying it out with techno and I got addicted to it, like really, really hooked on it. Uh, would I ever play it again? Definitely, of course I would. Um, but my issue is lay is that uh, like if I'm going to reinvest time in an MMO, I want it to be RuneScape again. Maybe play it on stream again, but that's that's for the far future. There's something I wanted to ask you. See the crime. Cold grave for men who've lost in their dreams. And me, I watch her mother while they sleep, dreaming of the desert's harsh judgment. Invest time in a good MMO. The thing is, RuneScape is good. It's it's very story driven and it's very. Uh, how, how do I put this? Like it's. Well, the, the the quests that you do do are good, and the grinding is not like stupid about things. Jake, please, a man died here. <laughs> He's asleep. Well, should we show this hopeless case? Show this hopeless case something to catch his interest. Look here. Looks like something's been crossed out. Maybe there's a letter or something, Detective Gumshoe. Let's see. Annual bonus, $20. Um, I think a couple zeros are missing. No, that sounds about right. At least in Detective's case. Maybe I should rethink my career as an investigator. That's dark. Are you talking high pixel? Yeah, I thought that, I thought Wormcraft was deprecated like, yeah, a couple years ago too. <laughs> I can't type. <laughs> oh. Would you mind reading this for me? What's this? I warn you, fan letters to me go right to the spittoon. Letter of introduction from Detective Gumshoe. May we investigate? Gumshoe? Ah, that old cod that old cod dog. Hmm, is he holding a birthday party or something? Huh? Look where it should, where it should say introduction. It says invitation. Ah, I think he just miswrote it. Wait, why am I getting all defensive here? No worries, this proves for it proves it's from Detective Gumshoe better than a blood test. Guess I'd better let you in then. Crab craft. <laughs> Frog craft. I got a reply on a comment from five years ago. What? From who and on what? Guess I'd better let you in then. Thank you, Officer Marshall. Oh, that's right. He's a patrolman, not a detective. Which reminds me. Hey, wait a sec. Isn't our crime scene supposed to be handled by a detective or higher? Well, folks. The clues are calling. Welcome to our gold strike. Be like the settle. Strike out for the lance unknown. Manifest destiny. Let's have a hoot nanny. Note to self police investigations are like settling land. Let's let's not go into that. A video of some Walking Dead Minecraft roleplay. What the fuck? I'm gonna I'm gonna need to see this comment and what the reply was, Gumbo. Well, Mr. Wright, what did you say? I say I won't be needing this anymore. This looks like a cell phone. Scientific analysis would have suggest this belonged to the victim. Can't think of anyone else it belonged to. Let's not scientific about that. Should we check it out? Yeah, sure, let's check it out. 
Right, let's check it out. I was mulling about some death scene being cringe. Oh. And the reply was how it could have been sadder. Oh, I see, okay. Man, what a boring strap. What's wrong with it? Everyone has different tastes, you know? Here, check out mine. It's a pink princess strap. These are hard to come by, you know? Since series is as popular as ever with the kids. Hmm, this phone's still on the redial screen. Redial? Um, Mr. Wright. Most phones keep a record of all the calls you made and received. You just press the blue button on the display to the last number you called. Convenient, isn't it? I was surprised you didn't know about it. Sort of disappoint you, but I, I know about things like redial. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. It's just you never know with people from your generation. Whatever, let's check this phone out. Let's press the hashtag. I'm fucking with you, it's a pound sign, I know about that. I tried to purge my comments a while ago, but I got bored at like three years ago and gave up, so there's still some cringe from five years around. That's the thing. Uh, on, on YouTube, I've, I've very, very rarely liked the video, and very, very rarely, have, or even more rarely, have commented on a video. Just for shit, silly shit like that. Now to see the who, who the owner of this phone called last. Note to self, what defense attorney doesn't think first, he just pushes the button. Beep. Hey, that song, I know that. Hey, what's going on over there? Ah, oh, sorry. I see you, partner. You pressed the real down on the phone that, on their phone, didn't you? Uh, well, yeah. Whose phone is this anyways? It was on the ground over there. Whose is it? That belongs to the chief prosecutor's guy. What? It's my sister's. She apparently dropped it when she was taken into custody, right after the crime. Look, the last call was made right in the murder occurred. Looks like she was fixing to call someone. Except she only spoke for a few seconds, according to this. Who is she called? Ghostbusters! No idea, sorry partner. I got a question for you, partner. I heard a phone ring just now. One of those newfangled ringtunes. Oh, that? Oh. I'm sorry, that was my phone. What? Your phone? Yeah, it's kind of strange, but someone called me right as we picked up the other phone. My wrong number. I hope you're not lying. They shoot you for that in Texas, partner. Uh oh. I've incited the wrath of the Lone Star Patrolman. Cell phone added to the court record. This rope. Is it? Yep. They let it, they let it on the outline of the victim's body. So wait. The victim must have died when the killer closed the trunk on him. You've got to be the only person I know that would have come to that conclusion. What's this? It looks like some sort of note of sort. Looks like something's written on it. 675, 12 out of 2. His name printed on the paper above that. Goodman. Maybe he fell off his pocket when he was killed. Well, so, what does that mean, Mr. Wright? How am I supposed to know? Not to suffer for, de for deductive reasoning, go to Edgeworth, not Wright. I'm sure Edgeworth wouldn't know what this means either. It's also upside down. 221SL9.
now, now I've just this tendency to look at things upside down. This appears to be the car where the body was found. It looks like the lock on the trunk is busted. The crime took place in the underground parking lot at the prosecutor's office. The body was found in the trunk of my uh, subordinate's car. What a luxury car just screams, I have money to burn. Yeah, prosecutors get the big bucks. A block. This area is reserved for prosecutors. Defense attorneys are de delegated to B block. I dream of the day when I'll be able to park my car here. I'll go over to B block to buy my hamburgers from you, Mr. Wright. What? I'm not planning on giving up my job that soon. B block is through here. That's where the visitors park. I can see the lunch land car uh, over there, far in the distance. Hey, right. I like the cute design on the door. I can see a cartoon cow munching down on a juicy looking steak. Doesn't that strike you as a little bit creepy? Yeah, just declared cannibalism. Just don't think too deeply about it and you'll be fine. I feel like I'm missing something. Oh. Officer Marshall, could you tell us more about the victim? Good men always die young. Remember that, partner. Um, could you be a little bit more specific? Bruce Goodman. He was a detective, right? Well, well, aren't you a feisty doggy there? Now. Detective Goodman was stabbed here at 5.15. Smiling Madonna told me the tale. I think he means the witness, Miss Angel Star. One stab to the chest. A fine piece of work. So here's the autopsy report. Death due to loss of blood. One knife wound. Died within an hour and a half of 4 p.m. Was my sister involved with the victim in any way? 28 stab wounds? I don't think it's that many. It just said one stab wound. Funny you should mention that, Bambino. Chief Prosecutor Sky Detective Goodman had nothing in common at all. Nothing in common. They probably worked together on a case a few years back. So, there's no motive. Goodman wasn't a particularly gifted detective. That's one reason why he didn't do much work with Chief Prosecutor. But my sister called the victim on the day of the murder, right? Here, to this parking lot? So it seems. Like calling an unarmed man into a shootout at high noon. Now, I don't mean any offense, but... Officer Marshall, you're not a patrolman, right? Not a detective? You call me out? They shoot you for that in Texas. Huh? I was one of them fancy shoot detectives to two years ago, to tell you the truth. Oh, really? Now he tells me. But you're a patrolman now. So how can you be in charge of a crime scene? Nothing gets by you, does it, Bambino? So why are you in charge? No reason. We're short on hands right now. I'm keeping out an eye out in the meantime. That's odd, though. Detective Gumshoe was saying he had nothing to do. Nothing important, at least. Give me a second. <sighs> Delicious aqua. There's another bit of sour dog that can't find his tail. Maybe it's because he runs with that Edgeworth, eh? Edgeworth? That cow dog has been kicked out of this cattle run by order of the chief of police. Just, he don't realize it yet. Detective Gumshoe kicked out of the investigation. So there's no connection between Detective Goodman and my sister. That's correct, but... There's a gold mine of evidence against her. The prospe prospect of tomorrow is none other than Edgeworth himself. I'm afraid your sister's fate is decided, Bambina. Many condolences. Officer Marshall. Yeah, Bambina? How can you say that? You and my sister, you were... Is there a sister between the... Something between the cop and his sister that you don't know about? 
I apologize, Mambino. Something must have gotten to me. Maybe it's that dry wind that's a blowing through the prospector's office. Dry wind or ill will? Something's up to here. Something's. Something's. Something. Someone's up to something here. But who? Suspicions about Mr. Edgeworth have been flying around for nearly two years now. Poor Jedvinson and uh, arranging testimonies, you mean? He was unbeatable because whatever he did, to, uh, he did whatever it took to win. Unbeatable, that is, until he met you. But rumors are just rumors, aren't they? These are prosecutors we're talking about. Evidence is everything to them. We follow the rumors about Edward to the source. You find one person. But they're off limits. Untouchable, you might say. One person? Who? I hate to say this, but it's your sister, Bambino. Chief Prosecutor Lana Sky. What? My sister? Edgeworth couldn't rustle all those cattle by himself. Some people load their guns with bullets. Some people load them with deals. Were you saying Edgeworth was making deals to win trials? Where there's gunshots, there's bound to be bullets. That's what the old timers say. There's a big old secret hidden around here somewhere. Everyone knows it. That's why Detective Gumption was taken off the case. They targeted him because he was the closest to Edgeworth. So, how are we doing, Mr. Wright? I guess we've got some clues. We have an autopsy report and a note from the victim on his cell phone. So you think we'll be okay? Well, the only thing still bothering me is that Lana's confessed to the crime. She says she did it. No problem. I can guarantee that she's not the criminal. Oh, by the way, Emma? Yeah? I know that song you... I know that song your phone plays when you when it rings. What? This is Steel Samurai theme song, isn't it? A popular TV show for kids? The phone that rang earlier wasn't mine. It was yours. 518 just after the murder took place. She just called you, didn't she, Emma? I... I'm sorry. Can you tell me what she talked about? I... She hung up right away. I see. Interesting. Detective murder... Detective was murder, and the suspect is called... Is the top prosecutor in the district. I've got a bad feeling about this. Like, maybe I still don't know everything that went on here. And that's, I, I've been streaming for a bit, and my uh, my voice is kind of shot, so I think this is going to be a good call for the time being. Leave the action up for the next stream. Ba, 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 ba. Anyways. And this this is where I actually end stream. <laughs> um... Let's, 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 <coughs> let's, let's rate somebody who's on. Oh, Moist is on. Uh, I was, I was talking with Moist. Let's rate Moist. Anyways, I hope everybody has a good time. And I, I, I really enjoy this game. Um, this is an interesting one so far. I've, I actually have no idea who's done it yet, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. Um, have a YouTube. We'll start off with the YouTube first. Uh, that's for if you've, if you've, I gotta post the VODs again soon. I have, I haven't done that in a bit. Um, so that's all my VODs. And if you want to join the community, have a Discord. We're always accepting of people. Who did it? It was you. Ah, shit. Um, someone help me with a raid message. Quickly. Actually, I have an idea. No, not bald. Go, let's go in with some flavor. No, not cum shoe. Actually, now I'm half tempted to use cum shoe. 
uh, <laughs> wanked. Yeah, he added wanked. Uh, Alright, fine. Wanked. Alright, that'll that'll be the right message. Alright, I hope everyone takes care and uh see ya.